Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. Here we have the Volvo XC90 on a 69 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through just a few of the controls on the inside of it from there. From the outside though you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot space first of all. The tailgate on this car will open electronically. As we approach the back of the car, you can see that we have reversing sensors. Uh, plenty of boot space as well. Currently, all seven seats are in place. So this is the amount of boot space you have as a seven-seater. Let me show you what it's like with the two rear seats folded down. And as you can see, that gives you loads of space. You can, of course, fold down those remaining seats should you need even more space than this. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car. And then, as I mentioned, just hop in and run through a few of the controls from there. Now that we've done a full circle of it though, you can see firstly, the alloy wheels are all in great condition, as is the bodywork the whole way around the car. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the speedometer. We have a digital readout for the speedometer as well. Beneath that, the total miles for the car are 42,920. Over on the right-hand side, we have the rev counter. Uh, within the rev counter, you can see what gear the vehicle is in. Uh, it's an automatic, so of course we are in park at the moment. We have the fuel gauge beneath that as well. Uh, you can access various different bits of information, different menus, etc., all from the buttons just here. Uh, over on the left-hand side, we have cruise control. And then behind the steering wheel, the minus and plus pedals so that you can change up and down the gear manually with this automatic gearbox. Over into the center, next we have the touch screen, uh, which is where, amongst other things, you can access your satellite navigation. Really nice, clear color display, a very easy system to use. We have an audio menu just here where you can access your DAB, FM radio, and Bluetooth audio so you can stream your music wirelessly once you paired your phone, which is done within the phone menu. Anytime you want to go back to the main menu, press this button just here. Uh, down the bottom, we have a climate control menu. So you can change the direction the air is being distributed in. You can turn the air conditioning off. On again, you can recirculate the air that's in the car from here, which is a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperatures you set. And when it comes to temperatures, passenger temperature is adjusted either by moving the slider up and down or tapping on the temperature you'd like to set. And the same with the driver's side. You can close that down and that down uh, we have a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings you have the same here for the passenger side as well and if i pop the car into uh, reverse you can see the full color reversing camera with guidelines that show you what direction the vehicle is headed in in relation to that image shown on the screen working our way down we have the main volume for your stereo we have some storage back here a massive storage area you can open up here, uh, which reveals a 12 volt charging socket, two cup holders in there, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. This dial is where you start the engine from. So you just need to make sure the key is in the vehicle with you. So that is the car switched off. If I pop my foot on the brake, that is it now started again. You can change the driving mode from here and with an electronic handbrake with auto hold functionality as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, or you'd like a live bespoke video tour of the car, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.